There's a new beer on tap. Black is beautiful. And with this beer, I, I like the fact that people have to say it. You have to come up to the bar and you have to say you want a Black is Beautiful. And I think that's really unique and it's beautiful. The Black is Beautiful initiative was started by Weathered Souls Brewery in San Antonio, Texas, in response to the racial unrest we've seen this summer. The goal of this collaborative effort amongst the brewing community and its customers is to bring awareness to injustices people of color still face in 2020 and to show that the brewing community is an inclusive place for everyone of any color. In one sentence, it's bringing people together. Around this imperial stout, here's how it works. A brewery signs up, they get a base recipe from Weathered Souls, and then they put their own twist on it. The label and the beer and the recipe for the beer is all centered around uh, uh, the idea of bringing awareness to social justice issues for people of color. And so you see that in the label, you see that in the, the complexity of the beer and also in, the, in the, the range of colors that you get in the beer, full flavoredness. All the money from the beer goes to a local organization that supports equality and inclusion. More than 1,100 breweries around the world are participating. 41 of those are in North Carolina, and we visited three of them. Wise Man Brewery in Winston-Salem, Kernersville Brewing Company in Kernersville, and Pig Pounder Brewery in Greensboro. Our brewery and the brewing community in general is about bringing, lifting people up and, and building community, and that's the most important thing for us. And so there was a lot of tension and, and, and some challenging times locally in our community. Us being a brewery, our main thing we do is make beer. And if we can make a beer and help people at the same time, that's a no-brainer for us. We we're very community driven here and when we saw that uh, a significant portion of our community was hurting, uh, we, we felt that it was, our, it was necessary for us to, to step up and do something to help. One beer, three different breweries, all with a different taste, but with the same goal. I think above all, education is uh, our hope, uh, you know, we're a wise man and we're uh, all about educating people on beer, but I think there's so much that people need to learn about. There's a lot of people here that are very aware of the, uh, you know, injustices and some of the problems that people are facing, but it's definitely not out in the open and uh, a main topic of discussion here. Vinny DeBrascio with Kernersville Brewing Company hopes that changes. We've had people come from all over the triad, outside of the triad, come in here. Some, there's been people going on uh, like Black is Beautiful trips. They've been going around to a bunch of different breweries across the state and picking them up. And then here in our local community, uh, it's been flying. We're actually running low. All three say they've gotten some backlash, but they are encouraged by the support they've gotten. I certainly don't view this as a political statement. I, I see it more as uh, lifting up members of the community that are hurting. Um, and, you know, if you can't help your neighbor when they need help, I, I don't know uh, what else you can do. We, we have faced some backlash, but it's been minimal in the grand scheme of things. And uh, again, we're, we're looking to lift up and not take down. In black and white, Tracy Clemens, Fox 8 News.